Hi, my name is Sean Hemingway, Chief of Police in Bay Harbor Islands. I'd like to thank you and your family for taking the time to review this video on hurricane preparedness. Every day you take steps to protect your family. You purchase car insurance, you place security systems on your home. I ask that you take that same initiative by creating a hurricane plan to protect your family during a hurricane or other disaster. As you watch this video and hear from my staff, you'll receive tips on how to create your plan and make your homes and businesses safe for a hurricane. Again, I thank you for your time, and I ask you, are you ready? Hello, I'm JC Jimenez, Assistant Town Manager here to briefly talk to you about evacuations. As you may or may not know, the town of Bay Harbor Islands is entirely located in an evacuation zone. This means that when the mayor of Miami-Dade County issues a hurricane evacuation order, you must be prepared to leave your home for an extended period of time until the order has been lifted and it is safe to return. Additionally, Miami-Dade County and the American Red Cross will open up hurricane evacuation shelters throughout the county. These shelters, however, should be considered as a last resort as they are often uncomfortable and overcrowded. Pet-friendly shelters will also be available, so please include your pets in your evacuation plan. If you or someone you know requires assistance in evacuating, Miami-Dade County offers the Emergency Evacuation Assistance Program. This program provides evacuation support to those residents that require specialized transportation or whose medical needs prevent them from evacuating on their own. Residents interested in this program need to register directly with Miami-Dade County. If you need assistance in filling out this application, please do not hesitate to contact me at Town Hall. Thank you. Many Bay Harbor Islands residents who live on the water also own boats. 36 hours prior to the arrival of the storm, you need to take the necessary precautions to move your vessel to safe harbor. If you have a boat that's large enough and requires a bridge lift of the broad causeway, this needs to be done as soon as possible. The U.S. Coast Guard will order the bridge locked down eight hours prior to the arrival of the storm or if the storm winds hit 40 miles per hour. At that time, the bridge will no longer be open to marine traffic. For more information to properly secure your vessel during the storm, check out the link below. South Florida's annual hurricane season reminds us that there's a price for living in paradise. Fortunately for all of us, the stress of the storm season can be minimized by being proactive in the off-season. To prepare for the unknown, each home should have a 72-hour disaster survival kit. The following is a minimum suggested list of survival kit supplies. Water, one gallon of water per person, per day, for at least three days. Food, at least a three-day supply of non-perishable foods. Medicines and personal care products. Safety items. Too often, residents wait until the last minute to make preparations, causing a rush at local grocery and supply stores. By building your 72-hour hurricane supply kit little by little throughout the year, you can actually save money and keep your family prepared in the event of a hurricane.
Miami-Dade Fire Rescue would like to remind the community that during the time of impact of a storm or right after, MDFR's actions are concentrated on the well-being of people affected by the emergency. And at this stage, emphasis is centered on life-saving efforts. During such time as actual hurricane conditions exist, every attempt will be made to continue our primary mission of protecting lives and property. However, it should be remembered that MDFR personnel are subject to the same environmental limitations as our members of the public. Knowing what to do in the wake of a severe storm or disaster may be just as important to you and your family as taking proper precautions ahead of the storm. Nearly a third of the injuries happen after the storm have impacted an area. Down power lines, broken glass, and sharp objects can cause serious injuries. Please be aware of hazards from exposed nails or broken glass. Do not touch down power lines or objects in contact with down lines. Always assume the down line is live. Keep children and pets away from fallen electrical wires. Do not drive over a fallen power line. To report a down power line, call 1-800-4-OUTAGE or 1-800-468-8243. Please do not call 911. If traffic lights are out, treat the intersection as a four-way stop. Avoid moving water, regardless of depth or speed. Do not drive through flooded roads. Avoid wading in water. Broken glass, metal fragments, and other debris may be present in the water. When power outages occur, individuals often resort to portable generators to maintain their households until electricity is restored. Although portable generators are handy in an emergency, safety precautions must be taken when in use to avoid devastating and often deadly outcomes. Be sure to always follow the manufacturer's instructions as common dangers associated with the use of portable generators are carbon monoxide poisoning, electrical shock, or electrocution. We recommend never using generators in the house, garage, or other enclosed areas, as well as near doors or windows. If you have any further questions, feel free to stop by our Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Station 76 here in Bay Harbor Islands. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, we're always ready and proud to serve. Hurricane preparedness does not end at home. An often overlooked segment of hurricane safety is the workplace. Whether or not you are an employee or an employer, it is essential to take proactive steps in preparing for unpredictable storms and other disasters. In order to prevent your business from being another statistic, it is critical to prepare now. Using these three steps as guidelines will ensure you are prepared for any damages following a hurricane. Step 1. Protect property. Step 2. Protect important documents and information. Step 3. Keep a preparedness checklist. Hi, my name is Ron Watson, the Town Manager of Bay Harbor Islands. I'd like to take a minute to thank you for watching our hurricane preparedness video. As you can tell by the police department, the fire department, and all the staff, being prepared for an event is key to surviving a hurricane event. If you need any assistance in preparing your hurricane plan, please contact us here at Town Hall 
and we'd be happy to assist you in any way possible. Please have a nice day.